Welcome back everyone to another episode of Let's Play Rule the Waves as Austria-Hungary. Well, to say that things went swimmingly the last episode wouldn't be the most accurate statement. We did hit, uh, I guess we you could say we had a little hitch in our giddy-up, but that's okay. I think in the end we're still going to be victorious, because our lovely German allies are going to come through and rescue us. No, that's probably not going to happen, but I can't help but think... All these submarines that we're amassing, and really losing quite free, quite fast. We're down from 38 to 21, if I'm not mistaken, we started the war at 38. That is a significant number of lost submarines. I'm not losing that many ships. Now you don't lose victory points for lost submarines, so that's, I mean, that's one thing that you could say. But I wonder what I could have done with that m massive budget of submarines that we lost now. I wonder what I could have done with that if we had been able to get a few extra surface ships instead. Um, we're also really pushed to the limit of our um, requirements for um, anti-submarine warfare. Really means I guess it's time for a few more merchant ships, I mean sorry, minesweepers. And since those are so cheap, I might as well just build a few. We could set some of our destroyers on that duty, but I don't think it's, it's never, I don't think it's ever the right decision to have anything but minesweepers doing your anti-submarine warfare. So, um, four more should do it, just to keep the cost really low. We're a little bit positive on budget, which basically means we can potentially unhalt this one soon. <laughs> Not quite yet, I think, at this budget, but a little bit longer and we can. Okay, this is good, four, five. So that's good, a convoy attack. They don't have any forces, so we'll accept. <laughs> okay, that was a, an obvious defeat for them. Okay, things are finally starting to settle down, and we're left with three of our original six treaty dreadnoughts, and they're in good places right now. We have two in the Caribbean and one in West Africa. That's just about where I want them. I kind of want everyone else pulling into the Mediterranean because that's still where the British have a huge fleet. In fact, we're even blockaded. So we really can't spare anything more in either of these locations. Although having at least one battleship in those, I feel is the right decision to maybe force a naval invasion. And we just have to wait for some kind of um, engagement we can fight in the Mediterranean. Um, it's a little unfair, this blockade mechanic. If they want to not engage ever, they could just decline engagements and we'll end up losing more and will probably collapse from unrest much faster than they lose victory points. But we're ahead in the victory point game right now, so hopefully that puts pressure on them. <sighs> okay, well let's do things this way. Let's push our construction to the absolute limit with this, Our one of our final St. George 3s. We also have, with our St. George 3, we have the Dortico Rabbit Blitzen. Um, so we did have Pollock wanting to run another one of our ships out of fuel and scrap it. So we'll get the, the Pollock back. And I'm going to name this one uh, just because I want to. <laughs> Those comments are always appreciated. And eh, these guys are far enough off that I'll have to look through my comments. I'm probably missing somebody, but that's okay. Uh, I will find you, and I will no, I'll put your name on the list. <laughs> okay, pushing forward. Now here is definitely a dangerous one. We're going to strike a balance. I think that's the only reasonable thing to do. Total War is going to increase our budget, but increase our unrest, and that is a danger. If we can squeak by with the lower budget, unrest is really what's going to kill us. So... Well, we sank 10 ships, this is impressive. Unfortunately, the English have such a global empire, it's very hard to bring them to their knees from blockade. It takes a, a lot of, you have to muster a lot of merchant ship kills, which, you know, kind of are. Sabo adding uh, their skills there. And fleet battle, okay, well, here we go. Miserable conditions, I see immediately. We're in heavy rain. 
Uh, they're fighting upwind of us, which is never good for us. This is danger close. So let's see who's the lead formation here. Looks like it's the Krakow. We're going to immediately encourage torpedo launching. Whoa, no screen. Support, support. Line ahead. Max speed. So we just get everyone here to do max speed just to uh, potentially avoid as many torpedo hits against us as possible. And we're going to keep our battle cruisers back a little bit. I'm assuming the range of these ships is all going to be, uh, the sight range is going to be miserable, and it absolutely is. I mean, essentially, the only thing we need to consider here is the sight range. I'm actually going to take off everything but the sight range to keep things very simple because, uh, well, okay, torpedoes isn't bad to have on because that's how far they can travel, but basically this is a huge torpedo game. I might even turn my battlecruisers south to avoid the possible repercussions of them launching torpedoes. And then we just need to get these guys, oh my gosh. Well, this is it. I mean, this is the big fight. And there they are. There they are. Rabbit has decided to take lead of the formation. <laughs> uh, always a little eager, the rabbit. The flagship sits proud in the middle. 14, 17 inch guns. Massive armor. Yeah, I really can't wait to get this one involved. And remember, I did not in the end sacrifice our torpedo protection. So these ships can just take a pummeling of torpedo fire. Just a pummeling. A torpedo after a torpedo. Now we also have our rather old Kaiser class getting involved. We might even leave them kind of as a support to the um, Dreadnoughts, our main, our St. George III class. I can just call them the St. George class, I guess, since the previous St. George classes have both been retired. So yeah, the St. George class is going to lead the way, and we can have the other Dreadnoughts pull in What's their squad max? 22, and these guys have like 25. Goodness gracious, what a beast. That is just like the perfect all-around ship. It has everything. Speed, armor, armament, just there's no weakness. Amazing torpedo protection. Yeah, we won't want to get those guys involved because we're going to be able to do a lot of damage with those. And since, and this is most curious to me, is this guy in information by himself? Ah, he is. Okay, well... We'll just bend him over with the other ones. Okay. This is so many units to keep track of. Oh, we also have the, f ah, the Nike Manicore's first action. Hmm. The Four Fox. I, this is a beautiful battle cruiser that has just been really on top of the game as far as sinking other ships. So we're happy to have her. I think this is every ship I have. All three. We have five Kaiser class. Oops. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six battle cruisers. And three more battle cruisers. I think this is every heavy ship I have in the Mediterranean. Every single one. Well, without a doubt, this is going to be a multi-parter. This might break the record. We might have like a four-parter four ahead of ourselves here because this is... We have... Jeez. This is the big battle. I don't know. I've probably left some slightly exaggerated titles on my previous episodes, but you could truly call this like the battle to end all battles. This is This is it. Everything rides on this. And I really don't know how to deal with this formation in the rear. It's just so much to control. It's really intimidating. I guess what we'll do is we'll set a speed of 22 for everyone, just because that's the limiting factor. Uh, no, we're going to leave our destroyers, our dreadnoughts, a little bit behind. We're going to go 24 with everyone. I just can't wait that long. I can't wait that long to get into the fight. And this is the ideal, too. I actually want this close torpedo fight because it means we actually stand a chance of um, 
we have a good chance of defeating them in a torpedo engagement, I think, with, I, I mean, I'm speaking specifically about our St. George class, but also we have so many torpedo gunboats. Like, uh, you can consider the Achilles a torpedo boat, even. And I think I'm going to leave these guys all screening because I don't have a better idea of what to do with them. Are these some old... No, these... Do we have any old... Spilato class Tiger II. That's what I'm looking for, the Tiger II. Okay, the Lucin is here. What formation are you in? Probably one of these. Ah, uh, no, that one's also 35, so no, go back to 24. Somewhere here we have a formation of destroyers. Maybe the this one? Yes, which is a Tiger II. Yeah, these guys are going to go line ahead. These guys are going to be my first group into the fray with torpedoes. So squad max this direction, please, so that I can isolate you very quickly. And everyone else just going 24. A lot of tedious ma management here. Nothing that can be done about that. Why is the Pola... <laughs> I think she's actually in AI control because she's too far away. That's um, really... This is going to be a pain in the butt. It's okay to command a battle like this when you're not in terrible weather conditions, but in terrible weather conditions, this is just going to be horrible. Just horrible. Such micromanagement. Okay, I don't even know what's going to go on with these guys, but they're out of my range to control. I can do that trick where I keep telling them to come back, but I'm not sure I want them to come back. I think I want them to join the fight as soon as possible. Well, let's see how the first wave of things goes, and then we can do some judgment from there. Okay, Frunsberg. Yeah, but drive in, Frunsberg. Drive in. Use those torpedoes. Unidentified, so of course we can't use torpedoes quite yet, but drive in. Drive in. Push to your advantage. Oh, wow. That's a big ship. Whew. Okay, turn back, turn forward. Squad max, good. Splato class. Oh, they're going that way. Oh, boy. Heavy guns. Oh, boy. I thought that they were heading south. I was completely wrong. We're going to get these guys to still push on. All right, your job is to attack that one, though. No, get out of there, Frunsberg. Get out of there. But also launch torpedoes if you somehow manage to. Uh, the Frunsberg is just... Pff, getting wrecked. <sighs> Wasn't much we could do about that. First of all, I thought... I'm going to have to look at the footage again, but I thought this ship was heading south. So, I was basing my judgment on that. I'm pretty sure that I know how this is going to go, very unfortunately. I don't think that this engagement is actually going to come to fruition. Because we're going to lose them, and we're not going to be able to maintain contact. Oh, can you guys go to that line of breast? Turn together. Torpedo launching mode. Looks like we might get out of here. Oh, Martin, turn away. <laughs> Save yourself. Okay, there it is. So we were... Ah, those were only 12-inch guns. And she's such weak armor, too. Wow, come on. I mean, this is not good. Frunsberg, it looks like, is dead. The origin doesn't look like she's going to launch torpedoes. It's all right. That's a, that's what I wanted. That's what we wanted right there. There it is. Yeah, keep going. It's just directly in line. Turn if you can. Launch anything you got. Get these guys out here. Probably going to take some more torpedo hits. Wow. Well, I have to sneeze. Hold on. <coughs> Sorry about that. Where did this ship even come from? Ah, uh, boy. Well, at least the origin's going to... Um, absorb some fire. And we know we have a hit here. Okay, what? Just one? But t t two, d two torpedoes disappeared and it looked like the torpedo went through both ships. Confusing, very confusing, but that's okay. We we'll just need to fire some more.
Yeah, this is not good. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, well this is good. I didn't see this launch, but this looks like a hit. I mean, I'm going to slow this down. I don't want this to be missed by anybody. <laughs> Let's take a real close look at this. Time stamp the video and prepare. For four hits. What? <laughs> okay, let's take a look at what happened here. This this ship was hit. Three torpedoes went through the middle of it, though, and I don't understand. Krakow was hit. Not entirely a surprise. We are right in the middle of their destroyer fleet. And no escorts with us. Then we hit this one again. And then two to the Romillis, which I can't see anymore. <coughs> That's good. And we should be able to land a few more here if we're lucky. That's a hit. And that's a hit. Beautiful. We already have heavy damage on that one, medium damage. Well, you know, that went surprisingly well. I would say that went surprisingly well. Heavy damage down to five knots could be sinking. I mean, just got slammed with another torpedo after already going stopped. And these are very, oh, these are their light ships. These are two sunk ships for sure. Yeah, this, these are both down for the count. I don't think they probably have any torpedo protection. So that was a worthy sacrifice. Good job, Orgen. Good job, Trigloff. I think you guys are all sinking. Assispel is not sinking. Yeah, she's sinking. They're all sinking. <laughs> They're all going down. But they have done their job, and they have done it well. In fact, the Krakow is actually less, is more valuable, I should say, than the other ones. So we got to be very careful here. We're going to go squad max, turn south. Got to get out of here very quickly. I like that we're actually really spread apart here. All right, Martin, you have to speed up as fast as possible. We need you to get to, we need you to get down here to save my battlecruiser fleet. And it is absolute chaos down here, which is kind of what I expected. I'm hoping that people just go to AI control and do more or less the right thing. Unfortunately, you have to find like a unified target. Let's aim for the back of the prog so that everyone's converging in the same location at least. But I'm imagining a lot of people are going to go to AI control. This is going to be an AI fight in the end. Which is, there's almost no way to prevent it. <laughs> okay, something like that, and we'll continue looking at the action up here, which may end up, like I said, already just being the entire action, since once we break contact in this weather, it's going to be very difficult to find them again. Okay. Origin is avoiding torpedoes. No, this is the best time for us to be avoiding torpedoes when we're already sunk. <laughs> I mean, it's the best time for us to even get hit by a torpedo when it doesn't matter anymore. Heavy damage, Romilis. This one might carry on. I'm just disappointed that this one was able to just destroy my Achilles class so quickly. I mean, we have to get her out of here. Now, if she's smart, she'll go down to Algiers, which is the closest Austrian port, but I don't think if we detached her, she would be that intelligent unfortunately okay what do we have here lots of hits on I think every hit we're looking at here is just a ship that's already sinking so no more surprises our torpedoes should be able to run and maybe we'll catch something else out there but I'm guessing that this is the scouting fleet so you know what the best thing for us to do is to go off if we can get a hold of this ship no it's only 18,000 tons it's probably not worth pursuing Come on, Martin. We need you. Desperately. Really turn hard in. Really turn hard. Krakow's hitting this destroyer. That's good. So that one's probably dead, considering it just got hit by three 14-inch guns. Yeah, I think that, that we can call that one dead. Heavy damage to these. 
I'm not actually seeing them engage. I'm not seeing either of these battle cruisers engage my destroyers. Wait. No, okay, this one is still functional. It doesn't look like she's going to sink. We can probably speed this up a smidge. Yep, good. And unsighted is firing at the Graz. Wow. How do they have vision, but we don't? We'll find out very, oh my gosh. Okay, Martin. This is what all your training has been for. Everything culminates in this. We're about to exchange gunfire with obviously some dreadnoughts or some battle cruisers. And it's not going to be pretty. I mean, by the time I was able to identify these guys or even find them, it's already too late. <laughs> but, hmm. Well, maybe we can get these guys involved. They're closing. The problem is my battle cruisers. I don't think they had much torpedo protection. Maybe just one level. Ah, the weather. If the weather wasn't bad, I would. I would love this engagement. Now, saying that, I, that means I probably should just disengage. I am stuck here, though. I can't. I can't. There's no way I can disengage. We'll try what we can, but Martin can't do much against pff, all these ships. Okay, well, let's see what's going on here. The cracker was hit twice, three times, four times. Oof, boy. Well, at least we know our target. And Martin, you know to launch torpedoes, I hope. Yes. Okay, so we're just still taking a pounding here. We were able to counter fire at least one shot. Wow. These are massive. I mean, this is where my St. George class is needed for ships like this. 10 16 inch guns. I mean, you can't say anything wrong about this. Really good armor. We're just outclassed. We're just simply outclassed. 12 14 inch guns, lower armor. I mean, that we, at least we have it in the turrets where it counts. 11 versus 12 but they definitely outdo us in the belt, and this is definitely belt to belt. We're way too close for any shots to be <laughs> hitting the deck. Wow. Well, when you see something like this, it's not good. Both of our ships, I, I can't get the crack out. We're gonna try to disengage. I hope that our rudder is stuck starboard. If not, we're in deep trouble, because that means we're going to spin towards them. I'm trying to get the Martin in to save, <laughs> to do some saving actions, but oh man, I can't wait for the rest of our fleet to get here, basically. <laughs> Come quickly. You are needed. Good. We are moving away the correct way. Another hit though, geez. Now three more, four more hits on them, so we are finally doing some counterfire. But only two of them were heavy guns, and probably nothing but heavy guns is gonna penetrate this really thick armor. All right, the crack house avoiding torpedoes. That's kind of what the point was here for us. Wow, 27,000. Just lots of really heavy ships. All right, Martin. Smoke and cover. And we're still on the wrong side as far as... Oh, gosh. We landed a six-inch shell. That's something. But we're getting destroyed. And I don't know what this is from. We should have very good gunnery. We really should. But really, this is not going well. <laughs> Get everyone out. Turn. Turn. Try to save these guys. Let's see if we can do it. Ah, 
Alright, Martin, now is the time to duck away. <laughs> Done your job, now just get out of there. Let's go ahead and detach the Frunsberg. Try to get her home. Yeah, Martin, turn away in a big way. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> For some reason, we're now engaging the destroyers again. That's just silly. Wow. The grass is just wrecked. My first, out of all these guys, only the Alyssa stands a chance of continuing the engagement here. Now, does Frunsberg know to go to Algiers? Let's see what she does. How does she set her course from here? Yeah, Krakow, what's the deal with you? Are you flooding? Oh, yeah, you're flooding. Okay. Well, just slow down, take it easy. Really poor visibility. So we might even just try to wander out of this battle, knowing that we sank two more of their battle cruisers and we didn't lose a battle cruiser ourselves. That's something. No, 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 don't do that. Oh my gosh, don't do that. Oh my gosh. Uh, I need to save these guys, but I think I can only take them off air control when they get into range of this fleet. And that's going to be very difficult. Damn it, my dreadnoughts are down here. Just go squad max. We need you in the fight. ASAP. Alright, Martin. Ah, sh yeah, we have to go and cover for the Habsburg now. Who's already taken damage? No, 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 that's the flag. <laughs> I saw the Austrian flag covering. I thought it was already partly red. Alright, well, the Habsburg is opening fire. This is the correct course of action. These guys have already seen a little bit of my battle cruisers. And we're not on the correct wind side, but hopefully I can just get them to continue to this strafing, <laughs> this broadside run. Yeah, okay, this is very good, this is very good. So we got three hits with our 14 inch guns on this battle cruiser. Um, just one on this Ariadne. But still, hey, we didn't take any damage ourselves, that's the important thing. Okay, Martin, you're just gonna come down like this. Prepare to launch torpedoes. Lisa is the only one. Good. That's what I wanted. The only one I want engaging. And we're getting close now. We're getting close with some of our support ships. Let's just get these guys, the war games, the four fox, the nine unit. Let's get these guys to pair up with my battle cruiser, my dreadnoughts, I should say. Okay, let's see. Near miss. And four more hits. The Prague really lit up this ship. Well done, Prague. Very well done. Four hits on it. It's big. And four hits on the Ariadne. This is very good. We're bringing it back. All right, Martin. This is good. You're going to be screening, so I'm going to actually draw you west of this destroyer. That's your screening action. Actually takes you west of them. Okay, here we go. So Lissa, is she able to engage yet? Not yet. We need her as quick as possible. Close squad. Good. And we can't take these guys off the air control yet. Now what happened here? We opened up and we hit the Ariadne with one more 14 inch shell. We were hit. We were hit a lot. We were hit a lot. <laughs> we hit the Ariadne with um, some more shots, but she, we haven't taken down enough for turrets. She's only firing her front two, but in a second we're only going to be firing our rear. So let's actually force her if I can. Yes, very good. Okay, let's see what happened. Habsburg took a hit, Prague took a hit. No, wait, yes, didn't penetrate. Ah, oh, man, we. <laughs> the only thing that happened was we got hit. Ah, uh, not good. But the War Games is coming in. We're, we're not that far away. Come on, catch up, please catch up. It's it's there's no point in me like going sprinting ahead really, because they'll just go to AI control if I'm not careful. Although where's the group of Oh my gosh, what is the poll even doing in this? 33. This is it. Okay. 
Why can't we control this group? Who? Oh, you're subordinate. Okay, Pola, who are you subordinate to? Support the Franz. Ah, okay, well, go. Don't take off AI control. Get up here as fast as possible. That way we can draw these destroyers up and I can actually use them. Who I need more, more than anybody right now. And here's the Cobra, but what is the Wog? Ah, she's in screen. Okay, support. Line ahead. Actually, you know what? Just go right to line abreast. The Wog. All right, let's see what happens. Hopefully we get out of there. Uh, oh, wow. Those British ships and their turret flash fires. Well, we really needed that. Oh my gosh. And we still have this one with pretty decent damage. Well, I thought. Okay, you guys are just engaging. We might actually get out of this. Uh-oh, they're coming back. Yeah, we are hitting this other Ariadne. She has medium damage already. Why are we still firing at a, a destroyer which has just been mauled? <laughs> okay, we need you guys to head south. Oh, these guys are actually firing? No. Maybe? I don't know. Um, okay, Lissa, you actually have to go back and cover these guys against the battle cruiser up here. I think you can take her too. She's only 18,000 tons. Yeah, I think so. Alright, so good news for us. Now the Martin. Limited flooding. Trigoff. What is Trigoff doing, man? It's just. <laughs> There's nothing they can do. Attaching, reattaching, it's all silly. I think the Martin has done her job well. We'll stop de deploying smoke at this point. Uh, Lissa, we'll have the Martin double back as well with Lissa to bring to, to protect the Krakow and the Graz. These guys are okay by themselves, I think. I feel safe that even though there's two battlecruisers here, they will soon be engaged by the remnants, the, well, the entire main fleet. They don't know it, but they're stumbling into the main force. So I still see a lot of shots at a destroyer, which has been massacred. For some reason, we're just not sure if she's dead or not. Martin took a hit. Near miss. Oh, belt, belt extended, yes. Yeah, what, uh, okay, well, let's leave your smoke running then. <sighs> we need you to get out of here in one piece. Ooh, two near misses. A lucky ship. And then, you know, 40,000 more hits on the destroyer that anybody can plainly see is clearly sinking. We got control. All right. Squad Max, boys. War Games, bring them in. Manticore, you're taking up the rear. Okay, these guys should be going... Not Squad Max, but you're going to be going to the opposite side. We're going to try to... Launch some torpedoes here, which means I need to get everyone into torpedo launching mood. Is it these guys? No. Huh. I guess my flagship is the only one who can uh, available to tell people to launch torpedoes. Yeah, I guess, I guess that's the truth. That's just fine. We're coming in as <laughs> full steam ahead. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, let's get some shots off on these guys. They've caused us enough havoc for one day. It's our turn to, re it's our turn to return the favor. That's right. Habsburg getting in a few extra shots just because she can. And very soon here. Martin still surviving. Torpedo tubes hit. Did that knock out one of her torpedo tubes? Yep. Starboard. Three torpedoes out. Well, if they're engaging her, that's still good because she's deploying smoke. I mean, she's not a very good target, basically. 
All right, let's uh, let's start lighting them up. War games. Let's go. Okay, war game's good, but let's use the bigger guns if you can. Oh my gosh, Martin, get out of there. It's impressive that they're still engaging her. She's almost at max range for sight and deploying smoke and everything, and they just seem kind of oblivious to the threat right in front of them. How you doing, buddy? Hmm. Well, very bold. You are definitely absorbing good fire from otherwise my big ships, and I appreciate that. I don't think you're going to be <laughs> in good good enough condition to defend. In fact, the Lissa is just going to be defending everyone. Oh, they did they tow in? Did they reattach? Okay, well, Lissa, your job now is just to get out of there. Unfortunately, you're going to have to go very slow for these idiots who decide that they're should reattach for some reason. And there's the torpedoes they're starting. The Klagenfurt. Well, peel out. You did your torpedo launching already? That's good. Now, <laughs> like, peel away. I don't need you to get yourself killed. And this is the ones that I wanted going squad max into the enemy. I don't know where they went, but now I found them. Okay, so here we go. Good. The WOG has hit the battlecruiser with her three inch guns. I feel much better. And Martin is contributing to the death of an already dead destroyer. Fantastic. Oh, she turned at the last minute. Okay, whoa. Turn away. Hard. We have plenty of ships coming to run her down. Aha, the rabbit. Smells blood. I want to make sure I'm not losing sight of the bigger picture here. Okay, wow. Very good job, Wog. That's fantastic. I'm going to change your formation back to line ahead, just so you guys can reorganize, because you've already done your job. That's fantastic. Really, what I would have preferred is some shots against the Tiger, but with her battle turn, I'm pretty sure she's dead anyway, because she's going to run into my line of battle cruisers here. Where, is the prog reattaching or something? What is going on here? Why are they in line abreast? This is just a terrible idea. Just an absolutely terrible idea. <laughs> okay, let's go squad max. Let's go down to cruise for you guys. Just get out of the way. Let the other battle cruisers bring it up for a little bit. Wow. Four fox. Nike, Nike Manticore. Four Fox, Nike Manticore, Trieste. Well, if ever there was a dead ship, it was the Ariadne, who, unfortunately for her, has just wandered into the meat of the Austro-Hungarian Navy. And I don't hold out much better hope for the Tiger class, which is about to receive the same treatment. She's hit by two, and it, wow, holy cow. All right, boys, we can call this one a day. Well, this is I'm actually going to put a cut in here. I'm not sure if the rest of this battle is going to be significant or not. We might not run into the main British fleet. We may not want to. So I'll, I'll think about that a little bit off camera. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in part two of the big battle.